Okay, we're now doing the recursion chapter uh, where you actually draw things. And uh, drawing things recursively is an easy way of visualizing recursion. Um, so we're going to be using a, a module called Turtle Graphics, or just the Turtle module in Python. And the origins of the Turtle module, uh, it was a really simple uh, idea for doing drawings that even kids could understand. Uh, it was developed in the ladies and there was a language called Logo which is a simple object-oriented programming language and with it uh, children could write actual programs that would draw some cool stuff. Um, now uh, Turtle Graphics was so popular it's been implemented in a lot of different languages so all the all the main languages uh, you know probably have a turtle module. So the way it works imagine a turtle that has a tail that can paint a color in the path of the turtle as it moves. Uh, now this is a mechanical turtle so it's very computerish. Uh, it follows very simple commands. You can tell it to turn left or right a certain number of degrees. Uh, you can raise or lower its tail to draw. You can tell it to move forward so many steps or backward so many steps. So those are the basic ideas. So if you want to draw something uh, you position the turtle by moving it maybe with the tail up so it doesn't draw you get it pointing in the right direction by uh, rotating left or right and then you tell it to go forward or backwards with the tail down and it will leave a line and uh, then you can raise the tail or turn it and draw some more. So here's a little example. Now the coordinate system when you uh, use turtle graphics you get a window and it's blank in the middle that's called the canvas and directly in the middle of the window is the 0, 0 coordinate and to the right is positive x direction, or the first coordinate is, goes positive to the right. It's usually measured in pixels. Uh, and then to the left it goes negative for the first coordinate. And the second coordinate is the y direction, up or down, where positive is going up and negative is going down. And this is the normal orientation of axis you would have in a math class. So if you uh, when you start out you just see the turtle which is a little icon that looks kinda like this and so if you issue a command for your turtle object t dot forward 50 it'll move 50 steps so it moves the turtle here and the tail was down so it ends up drawing a line behind it that it leaves on the screen now if you tell it to turn you say turn right um, oops I forgot to put in the degrees here uh, 90 degrees so you say turn right 90 degrees, it turns the turtle, so you can see now it's, it was pointing this way, now it's turned right and it's pointing down. And then if you say move forward 50, now it draws a line from where it was to for 50 steps forward, so the turtle moves 50 steps forward. And then we're going to change the color. Uh, this is a method you can, it has several ways of changing the color we'll cover, but you can put in some common colors just as strings. So you notice the turtle has changed to red. And then we said turn uh, left 45, so turn left 45. And then we said go back, so you notice the turtle is backing up, but because the tail's down, it's drawing, so you can draw either forward or backwards. Now we've said turn right, so the previous slide was like that. Notice it's turn right from where it was pointing. So now it's pointing in a different direction and we're going to actually draw a dashed line as a series of commands. So first we're going to lift the pen and then go forward 10 steps. So you notice the turtle's moved but there's no line behind it because the pen was up or the tail was up. Now we're going to lower the pen and go forward 10 and it draws a red dash. And then we're going to lift the pen and move forward 10 and we have another blank and then we're going to put it down and move forward 10 and then you see that we have a dashed line. Now let's look at that in an actual program and I'm also going to show you how to use the debugger to follow what the turtle is doing step by step. But these are the basic steps and I've set a breakpoint. You just click in this column here and it sets a breakpoint. So here's actually the rest of the code you need to run a turtle. You say import turtle you have to get an object of type turtle, so you say turtle dot capital turtle, 
and that gives you an object. You can name it what you want. Uh, I just called mine T, so I don't have to type a lot. And then you get a uh, a object that represents the window. So you say the turtle dot screen, and you set that to a uh, a name that you set up. So I've, I called it Win. These are two commands you can call that the book doesn't show. Uh, but what I'm doing here is I'm setting the uh, width and the height of the window to 400 by 400 pixels. And then this is called the world coordinate. So if you don't want the steps for the turtle to be pixels, uh, you can specify the lower left corner and the upper right corner of the window what coordinates they should be, and that scales everything to that. So I basically zoomed in so you can see better what's happening. So we're going to run it and stop just before it does forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and do debug uh, turtle one. I'll give it a little time to start up. And let's now position our window so we can see everything. So you'll see that, that there's a special task just for the turtle window. And we're going to move this over. And there it is back here. And then we'll move this so we can see it right there. Move this over a little bit more. Okay, so now we can see our code and we can see the turtle. And so we're just about to move it forward. So this is the startup. It's the turtle is at zero zero. It's pointing to the right. So you can see what it's doing. Uh, it always says this window's busy. So never mind if you get a spinning thing or something like that, never mind that. Um, but we're waiting in the debugger here and we want to move to the next line. So there's a special set of buttons down here, which we'll go through later. Uh, there's step over. What step over does is it just executes one line of code and goes to the next line. So we're going to say step over and it's just going to do that one instruction. It moves forward 50 and you can see where it moved. And this is going to turn right 90. So watch the head of the turtle. See it moved right. And then we're going to set the color to red. Oh, well, I'm sorry, we did forward 50, and now we're going to set the color to red. I was ahead of myself. There we are. And then we're going to uh, turn left 45. And then we're going to back up 50. And then we're going to put the uh, turn right 90. And then put the pin up and go forward 10. Put the pin down, go forward 10. Put the pin up, go forward 10. Put the pen down, go forward 10. Put the pen up, go forward. And you can see we've drawn the same figures in the slides. So this gives you a good idea. It's very simple commands to understand. Uh, when you're doing the assignment, it's important to understand that when it backs up, it will also be drawing if the pen is up, I mean down. Uh, so uh, when you look at modifying your code in the tree, you might want to actually lift the pen when you back up, and we'll see that code later. Now there's a one more command that you put after you've drawn everything. You put this command here, uh, the name of your window dot exit on click, and this will cause your program when it's drawn everything it'll wait. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and step th one more time, and it's waiting on that command. And what this does is if you click on the window, it will close the program. There it goes. Uh, so that's basically what that's about. So let's go ahead. And, uh, so here's a, a slide that you can look at, uh, which is the basic things you always need to use a turtle. So you have to import turtle. You have to create a turtle object. So this creates a turtle object and stores it into a variable. And this creates a screen object and puts it into a variable and you use the window object down here for the exit on click and you always do that last and this area right here is where you put all your commands to draw and that's basically it you can add other commands like we did to change the size of the window or scale it um, and we'll show you one more command which you can speed the turtle up we have it actually running fairly slow